And next will be the cleanup hitter, Drew Lugbauer. The first baseman, number four. There's a strike. And a pitch. Ball one. And takes low for ball one. Here we go, Just one out away. Try to close it out. That one's in there. That is strike two. It's one and two. Swung on, belted. And in one hops the wall. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. So two down now, and here is Jesse Franklin. Swing and a base hit. Lugbauer coming home. He will score, and now just a two-run deficit. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Harris in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. And he deals. And one and two. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. The grind of double A is a well-documented ordeal, and many prospects don't make it past that level because they just can't find enough consistency to succeed. Cliff, what is the key to get...
Work is the key to everything. If you're willing to work and put in the effort and, and, and make sure that you stay, um, stay the course. Stay in the course means mm -hmm. work smart. Not work long, work smart. If that means taking five ground balls because you feel good that day, cool. Then you might need to take 20 because you made a couple of mental mistakes. All these things are going to help you in the long you know, road, not 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 the short term, but the in, in longevity of a career, you're going to need to have work mm -hmm. ethics that's going to push you over the top when you need the most. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the night. And welcome back. Here's the third baseman, C.J. Alexander. No matter what, you're playing this kind of rival. Take your game to another level. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Line drive. And there's a hit. The plate. You trusted your hands. You let the ball travel. And you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. On the ground, two ball. Brigman over to second, and that's two. Well, that's a huge ball in play to get the double play defensively. Just one more guy to get this save for the closer. And now the center fielder, number 55. Clips the corner. That's strike one. Next pitch, not close, up high. Ball game. 
Well, you take a tie ball game into the ninth on the road, you know that you've got some work to do. You've got to score, but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning. They did just that today. Very well played ball game. Get this win on the road. Everybody's happy with the W. 4-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long. Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Rocket City Trash Pandas taking on the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. Now the starting pitcher in this one. Number 14, what should we keep an eye on here? Yeah, got the W last time out. Six innings, a quality start. Hey, if a guy will give you that, you'll take it every single time. Next to hit, Catfish Jackson. First nope. pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and oh. Now he steps yeah, out as time is granted. Yeah. 
And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And one and one. Time asked for for a second time in the at bat now. Hey, like the chin right there. Square it up. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses, and the count is even, two and two. The next offering misses. Counts full, three and two. And down on strikes. Third out. End of one, and we're still scoreless. So two down, and the batter will be the shortstop, Catfish Jackson. He was a strikeout victim his first time. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. First offering misses the mark. Number 54, the runner at third. Number 11 at second with two gone. Hey, you got it. No one bet. Let's go. Hey, come on now. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. In to score. In there safely. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Isan Diaz up to hit now. Kicks and fires. Here's a high chopper. Gomez picks it up. Fires over to first. And that is that. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Jose Gomez will hit next. And the righty deals. Ground ball left side could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Safe at first, they won't get them both, and the runner comes in from third. Welcome back. Now it's the shortstop, Catfish Jackson. Here comes a pitch. In the air on the infield. Gomez makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but... So Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Catfish Jackson. Time called. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's one and two. And now before the one-two, time is called at home plate. And a pitch. Foul ball. Once again, time asked for at the plate. Getting a little old, to be honest. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Next one misses, and that's ball three. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And a foul ball, he stays alive. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. 
That's his second strikeout. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. At some point, just about every prospect goes through a tough phase. Your bat goes cold, you can't find your feel on the mound, just nothing feels right. Sean Casey joins me today. Case, what is it like as a prospect in the minor leagues to go through struggles like that? It's tough. It's tough because when you get to the minors, you really probably haven't struggled. You know, you haven't faced this kind of, kind of, kind of competition, so you really haven't struggled huge. I know for me, when I first got into pro ball, I was a second-round pick of the Indians. I had just led the country in hitting at University of Richmond, 461. I was the best hitter in the country. I get to the minor leagues. One of my hitting coaches is like, hey, listen, let's change your stance a little bit. Let's let's lower you down, get in your legs. And I'm like, oh, this guy must know what he's talking about. He's a professional coach. I struggle so bad for two weeks. I'm hitting 140. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to get released. Remember, Joel Skinner comes up to me, my manager, and he says, you know what, Case, he goes, you're a great hitter. That's why they took you in the second round. Tonight, I want you to start hitting your way. So that night, I got taller. I started hitting. I ended up winning the batting title that year. The point was failures, uh, the struggle, all that stuff, anxiety is built into baseball. You, as, a, as an individual player, have to learn how to talk to yourself mentally, know yourself as a hitter or as a pitcher, and believe in yourself. That's what's going to get you to the next level. A coach draws a player's attention to a recent trend in his numbers. Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH, Alexander Ramirez. It's so important to stay within yourself, especially for this hitter. Not known to be a power guy or a home run hitter, he needs to set the table by getting on with a walk or a base hit. First offering, and it just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next pitch has popped up. I got, I got, and it's I got. caught for the out. Levon Soto getting ready to hit. Hammered on the line, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. He's in there. 
you got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Now before the pitch, he looks him back. And now Jose Gomez pitches in there. Go on one. Swing and a ball popped up. Diaz on the move. It, Makes the catch. And there's two away. So digging in, number 17. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers they seem to live for. I mean, you get it. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And it's gone. Home run. An absolute blast to left. His second of the year, it's 5-4. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. Well, all game, these guys had to battle with that 10th man, those fans making a lot of... To get those After a rare blown save, a usually trusty reliever is picked up by his coach. A good reliever must have a short memory for such outcomes as he'll be called on again soon. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Double-A Baseball on the show. So almost ready to get underway showing the slab in today's game. Number 14, Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. To short, could be two. Jackson, quick feed to second for one. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. At the play, Catfish Jackson, the switch hitter batting right. Bunting for a hit, he pops it up. The throw to first. No hit here on the bunt attempt. They get the out. Here's the shortstop at the play. Brendan Davis. The wide to kick the pitch. 
A swing and a soft liner. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. And the batter will be the... And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. The lefty, the 1 0. And there's a ball. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Hey, come on, let the big dog eat, buddy. Aye. 2 1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Devers, the runner at first with two gone. Line drive, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Go ahead, run on base. Now it's the second baseman, number 38. Number 38. The 1-1. Ground ball could be two. Jackson tossed the second and it's a double play nice warm day here good baseball weather does that change anything Chris especially now here is Michael Cruz out to short throws to first one away here in the fifth good two seam action right there running away from the batter rolled over it now it's the shortstop, Catfish Jackson. First offering, misses the mark. Next pitch has popped up. Gomez makes the play, and that's the third out. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Catfish Jackson. One for three. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. Swing and a miss. Strike one. They haven't scored yet in this game, and with that swing, they're definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. Get down, get Rips one to right. That's a hit. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap, and I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positive Dives, and he can't hang on. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Just a huge at bat right there. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. Hector Young on the pitch here. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. And the batter now, number five. And a swing and a miss. That's the inning. So now it's the four hole hitter, Ibondel Isabel. Next pitch has popped up. All you take it. Calls it in two away. One nothing the final for Chris Singleton. Mystic, realistic, and simplistic Spirits visit, how we live it It's intrinsic, kiss me, kiss it It's smeared like lipstick, colorful On our souls, a mouthful of gold On drummer's roll, stories get told About us, that's why things so fly Without us, wherever we are, you can feel The prowess, whenever we move, yo, we turn The style up, I'ma just give black powers Flowers, whether in the projects or The palace, even when the pale horse tried To gallop, and stir, stir it up, we kept It balanced, we move in silence, we move The loudest, ancestors in my dreams they move the wild. 
wildest, they claim to bow us, praise and shout it. Picture this country being brave without us, a slave's nostalgia. Move through the woods with vigor. When we got free, the world moved with us. Now they want to change the bodies, go figure. Used to call us, now they want to be. We the rivers that move through the jungle, yo. When we move, we make the world wonderful. When we move, the whole Let me see what I could do right quick. My people were made in who's like this boy flying. They never flew like this. Pitch black butterfly from the other side. Somebody's style was lost, it wasn't mine. I'm in a small demographic of real ones dealing with all things classic. King's fabric, linen and silk from the home of the solid gold, honey and milk. The ones who built it from the mud, soil and sand. A black man, the world in the skin of his hand. Pop that sock when I shine beyond Stella, fella. Kwame and Crummer, Mandela, leader, truth teller. The ink well dweller. My pen signs a New York Times bestseller. When I move, y'all move in my way. Energy I generate. How to never move weak, I demonstrate. Celebrating my peeps when I innovate. For my dons and divas, weighing eyes and evens. To the non believers, vagabonds and heathens, achievers. We ain't satisfied with dreaming. Long as I'm still breathing, watch how I move. He's starting to draw some eyes, and for good reason. He has been lighting it up at the plate and playing well in the field to boot. I've got Mike Lowell with me today. Mike, what are you seeing from him that's leading to this late success? Well, I've been very impressed. I look at him and I see an absolute plan at the plate. That tells me that he's putting in a lot of work in between games, maybe even in between at-bats, talking to his coaches, using the video work. Maybe it's the weight room, whatever the case may be. But he is really showing that what he's doing off the field is paying dividends on the field, and he's really catching a lot of eyes. You know, I've dealt with some players who will keep a journal even between at-bats of everything they saw from the pitcher. Every little thing that you do, all that prep really can pay off in results. It definitely can. You know, and, and this is a case-by-case -case basis. Some people are very meticulous. They like to know what a certain guy threw in every single count and feel like that helps them in the future. Some guys want to have a clean slate. But whatever it is, this young man is doing his job, and it's really showing on the field. He has, he has a knowledge of the plate much more advanced than his years are showing right now, and it bodes well for his team. Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. 92, Catfish, Jackson. And welcome back. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And now the DH, Jim Haley. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Number 11 settles under this one. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you decided is this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. 
Left hand batter waits. That one misses. And the count even one and one. The next nope. pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. Liner snagged it first. Now back, right fielder. Two outs, base is empty. And now the right fielder, Luke Rayleigh. There's a strike. 0 oh 1. All right, come on now. Next offering is in for a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. And that'll do it. I'd say you're lying if you say you don't feel a five-game losing streak. This W definitely helps them relax a little bit and take some of the pressure off from it going to a six, seven, or even an eight-game losing streak. Eight-nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. For so many players in high school, maybe even in college, they were the best two-way talent on their team. They succeeded doing that, and they think, oh, I can carry that forward to the pros. But it can be really different when you get up to this kind of level and deal with that higher degree of talent. Yeah, you have to understand that the competition is absolutely insane as mm -hmm. you start climbing up the ranks uh, through the minor leagues and, of course, in the major leagues. So you will be challenged like you've never been challenged before. Yeah. And whether you are a hitter, well, you're going to see some pitching that is just absolutely superior. Uh, or whether you're a pitcher, um, you're going to see, you know, hitting that is uh, uh, pretty, pretty good. So imagine now putting those two together yeah. <laughs> at the same time. You're getting challenged both ways, and it's very difficult to master the, the, both crafts at the same time and reach your potential in each. Um, it's a very difficult task uh, to take on. So, you know, we'll see how, how, how that pans out. Teams are most definitely valuing the two-way player, but it, it's very difficult to have that player reach their potential on each category.
there's so many different ways for a pitcher to succeed. Not everybody gets by as a flamethrower. Not everybody. A manager addresses his team about their recent slump. Welcome, thanks for joining us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Mississippi Braves taking on the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about ready for baseball. And today on the Hill, Jake Eater. Yeah, eight earned runs last time out. You've got to be better than that if you're going to stay in the rotation and pitch at this level. Look for him today to be really good on the bump. And here's the first baseman, Drew Lugbauer. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. He is safe. One down. And now the shortstop, Catfish Jackson. A switch hitter batting right. Fly ball down the line. And that'll get down for a hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Isan Diaz up to hit now. Throw over to first. Jackson back on a dive. First and third, one down. Another throw over. Jackson hung up in a rundown now. They get the tag on him, and that's the second out. Welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, Jesse Franklin. Leading off for Mississippi, the right fielder, Jesse Franklin. Bounced out to short. Throw to first is in time. One up, one down. Good fade and sinking action. So up next, Catfish Jackson. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And first offering is fouled off. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. One down, base is empty. Strike two. Time called. Chance to collect himself down 0-2. The wind of the pitch. Hit in the air, right field. Franklin pulls it down, and there's two down. The batter, number one, second baseman. And now the first baseman, Drew Lugbauer. The first baseman, number four. Tying run at the plate. Hit on the ground, might be two. Jackson to second, that's one. Double play. What a twin killing, Dan. 
Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning, leading off Catfish Jackson. And a pitch. Fought off foul. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two now. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Kicks and deals. Got him. And there's one away. Well, classic pitch sequencing. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jordan Cowan. The pitch. Swing at a ball popped up. Jackson settles under it and makes the grab. And that is that. And welcome back. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And now it's going to be Catfish Jackson. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Ball one. They say it went. The count is one and two. Hey, drive that pitch, huh? Here you go. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. He came out of his mechanics there. Well, Typically well, likes well. to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball. He's getting a lot more attention lately, really rising up the prospect ranks. Mike Lowell is with me. Mike, you went from 20th round pick to top 100 prospect to a four-time MLB All-Star. What is it like when you start getting more attention as a prospect? Well, it, it's a good feeling because you know you're doing something right, and the organization and people in the industry are really taking notice. However, I think it comes with an added pressure. And how you deal with that pressure, I think, really determines your future, short-term and long-term. For me specifically, I, I felt like, okay, the attention is great, but I got to really focus on what I've been doing that got me to this point. So I almost wanted to tune it out, focus on my, my craft, focus on my preparation for each game, and try to maintain that consistency. So that good news that I got and those good numbers I was putting up could basically keep, keep that wave rolling a little bit.